Hi guys, thanks for joining me. Um, I want to show you the uh, next project I'm intending to build, but before I get into that, I wanted to have a chat about phrases that um, I've picked up whilst um, having a YouTube channel and dealing with um, friends on uh, YouTube accounts. So as you know, um, obviously when you're viewing um, other people's videos, uh, they'll be talking over things or it'll be part of the actual video and they will use certain phrases and I've noticed that I have picked up some of those phrases unintentionally but I, I'm a bit of a sponge when it comes to things like that um, so uh, I'll give you a couple of examples um, about six months ago I was coming home from a walk in the park with my wife Joss and a cat came out of one of the drives and was brushing itself up against the a wall and as it did it lifted its tail and out the blue I just said that a girl say hello to Jeff and it's just like where did that come from and in fact Joss just looked at me and said what was that and so I had to explain what what you know the the, the why that phrase is used or who uses that phrase and even after I explained it she looked at me as if I was uh, I'd got two heads um, but the one that really got me into trouble was um, I was at work at the lounge table and I was talking to somebody via um, Teams and I'd got my headphones on and, a, and obviously a mic from the headphones and the, on the other end was a mate who was telling me about some issues he was having at work. And um, he told me one thing, and my response to him was, you're shitting me, right? What I forgot was, Joss was on a call, a team's call, with one of her clients. And because I'd got the headphones on, I'd kind of shouted it a bit loud. Well, her mic picked up what I said and the client actually said, is everything OK? Um, and Joss, of course, said uh, that everything was. Now, you know in Star Wars where Darth Vader does that pinch to, to make people choke? They got that all wrong, you know, because my wife can make me choke just by looking at me. And uh, that's what happened that day, actually. It uh, took me a while to catch my breath. Um, she, she was not a happy bunny. And uh, I've, I've had to try and refrain from some of the phrases that I've learnt from certain people off YouTube. I half expect, after watching Shameless for a while, to say, uh, hi guys, top of the morning to you. Um, or, um, something like, or something like, it's really wet in, here in Birmingham. So it is, you know, something like that. Have you, any of you guys picked up strange phrases that you've never used? I mean, I also use, um, it is what it is, which is something I, I didn't use to say. And what was the other one? Um, oh yeah, uh, and all that good stuff. I didn't used to use that either. So just just uh, bear that in mind when uh, when you're watching certain channels. Um, if you need if you need some calm channels to kind of counterbalance some of the some of the other ones, then watch uh, Mad Genius and Ben Builds and people like that who um, are, are a bit tamer in uh, in the phrases that they use. Anyway, let's get on with uh, with the project that I'm proposing to do next, which, as you can see from this shot, is the 172nd MH um, Tadpole, uh, which is a World War One tank that was developed uh, to try and counteract um, the wider German trenches. Now this vehicle entered into the war very late and uh, in fact I've since found out that only one actually saw service although there were quite a few um, of the rear end of these tanks created in order to put on the, uh, the Mark IVs um, but as I say only one ever saw service. So the picture that you see is the tank made up. It's sort of been sprayed all black, and I've added the first coat of Vallejo's khaki, which is um, um, seventy nine eight eight. Here we have a second coat of uh, 
car key applied just to make sure that the um, the paint covered well and uh, on this occasion I actually used some of the um, Vallejo thinners the airbrush thinners to thin the paint down to make it um, cover the uh, the vehicle better usually I use water but um, in this instance I used the thinners as I say and it worked uh, much better I felt and this uh, last shot of the tank I've um, painted the tracks with uh, Corvus Black from Games Workshop um, and now the tank is ready to have its um, coat of uh, clear floor polish in order that I can start doing some of the uh, weathering processes. So I thought I'd do a little dio with the uh, with the tadpole and uh, I got these figures they're also 172nd from MHA. Um, they needed quite a bit of clean up um, but once that was done they were putting some um, hot water with some washing up liquid to get rid of the um, release agent that was on them um, and then I was able to start the painting process so what I did was uh, again they were painted uh, black um, sprayed black um, and then I started adding the uh, various colours to them so the uniform is uh, believe it or not Vallejo 70921 which is uh, English uniform the webbing is uh, Iraqi sand which is um, 70819 the rifle wood and also the boots and the belt are in um, Games Workshop's um, Doomball Brown the flesh tone is in Cadian flesh tone from Games Workshop um, the metal on the on the rifle is uh, Vallejo's um, aluminium which is 71062 um, and that's uh, basically where they are they are at now uh, they're ready to have a wash of either Reutland Flesh Shade or Agrax Earth Shade and then I will go back in and start uh, picking out the details um, <clears throat> like I did for the figures for the M19 tank transporter but that will be part of the next video where I will show you the results of that and also the the weathering on the tank so I hope your week is going well um, thanks ever so much for watching uh, do let me know if you have picked up any phrases that you didn't used to use just because you've watched friends on YouTube and I'll catch you soon